The Apple AR VR headset will likely be announced June 5th at WWDC 2023, and it could be a very big deal or a very big flop. The first major hurdle is the rumored $3,000 price for the so-called Apple Reality Pro, which will clearly limit its appeal among shoppers. And even assuming Apple follows up with a cheaper mixed reality headset, it still needs to fight the notion that these devices and the metaverse have peaked. After all, Meta has already pivoted to AI, and Google I.O. 2023 just happened with only a brief mention of its mixed reality partnership with Qualcomm and Samsung on an upcoming device. So how can Apple win over the skeptics with its headset? Here's the five biggest Apple headset rumors so far. The Apple Reality Pro headset is tipped to feature both eye and hand tracking, so you likely won't need controllers to navigate Apple's walled garden verse. The Apple headset will reportedly have lots of cameras and sensors on the exterior that will work along with sensors within the headset that will be able to read eye movement. This will allow a user to select an item just by looking at it. To open that item, the user will have to pinch their index finger and thumb together. Sounds easy enough, but I'm a bit skeptical about the rumor that you'll be able to type in midair. We've already heard that Apple plans to leverage its headset for immersive video watching in a way where it makes users feel like they're seeing a movie on a giant screen in another environment, such as the desert or outer space. And we also know that Apple is working with top Hollywood directors like Jon Favreau to create video content for the device. But apparently there's much more in store with the Apple headset. It will apparently run all iPad apps, as well as offer the ability to make FaceTime calls using renders of your face and body, and extend your MacBook's display into the virtual realm, all using a new platform called XROS. A Bloomberg report says that Apple needs killer apps and winning over developers will be key to the headset's success. One of the big rumored features of the Apple Reality Pro headset is that it will let you decide whether you want a fully immersive VR experience or you want to see more of the world around you. You'll apparently be able to do just that using a built-in dial that's very similar to the digital crown on the best Apple watches. Doing this will enter you into an AR pass-through mode, which is where Apple really needs to prove that its years of work around AR kit and augmented reality apps have paid off. Yes, the iPhone lets you experience AR, but this will be the first time you can do things like virtually redecorate rooms in your house and identify stars in the night sky without using your phone. A Bloomberg report says that the Apple headset will have an external display that displays your eyes and facial expression so people can still talk to you while you're wearing the Reality Pro. That sounds convenient, but also creepy. As much as I enjoy using the MetaQuest 2 for short spurts playing Beat Saber or Ping Pong for a few minutes, the design is clunky, heavy, and uncomfortable. By contrast, the Apple Reality Pro is said to be as light as a pair of ski goggles, so you should be able to wear it comfortably for hours at a time. How much time? Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says that the Apple headset will offer two hours of battery life. That's not very long, and apparently you will need to carry around an external battery that presumably slips into your pocket. I'm willing to live with that trade-off if it means that the headset itself is super sleek, at least for the first version. Apple is big on making its own silicon, so it's not a surprise that the Apple headset is tipped to offer similar power to the M2 chip. In fact, the Apple VR AR headset will apparently have two chips in it made by TSMC. One of these will likely be a low power chip to handle less demanding tasks. Other rumored high-end specs include dual micro OLED displays and 12 cameras for advanced tracking. In other words, Apple's headset should be future-proof. Apple clearly isn't aiming the Apple Reality Pro headset at the masses. It will be designed for developers and early adopters willing to pay top dollar to get a taste of the future. But at least based on what we've heard so far, Apple's first foray into VR AR could win over some skeptics. If the three grand is too much for you, and it is for me, Apple is reportedly working on a much more affordable VR AR headset for consumers. Stay tuned for our full coverage of WWDC 2023 and our Apple VR AR headset hub for all the latest rumors ahead of the big unveiling. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.